Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, November 9th, 2018. So, we went ahead and followed through a little bit yesterday, tomorrow, even though the FOMC came out and, and they didn't raise rates, but they indicated very likely an interest rate next month. And the market just really didn't respond all that much until just right at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we had a little selling that came in here um, on this 15 minute chart, but really nothing of consequence. Now this morning, here's one of those nasty things that will happen is now we're gapping down this morning. And we've been down as much as 150 some points and we're rallying up just a little bit at the moment only down about 112, 115 points as I'm recording this video. So let's take a look at what the market is showing us here. First, we have had a, a just a, a tremendous rally. Um, when you when you go back and you kind of take a look at at um, just how huge this is the dow has covered recovered more than 2000 points in just 8 days of trading that's truly remarkable to have um, a move like that and what we what we've created so far is an actual v bottom you don't see those very often in the market they're actually fairly rare and I'm not 100% sure that we're not going to uh, get a substantial pullback still. And I hate to say that, but um, I think that is certainly in the realm of possibility. And here's the unfortunate thing. When we have a rise like this, you know, a standard market rise, you know, we're going to move up, we're going to pull back, we're going to move up, we're going to consolidate and pull back, we're going to move up, we're going to pull back. That's a healthy market showing us um, those levels where we're testing support and trend. Well, when we rise like this, just a meteoric rise like this, we have left nothing behind for potential support. And what that means is, is if selling does begin to come in, we're going to be looking for a price support level. Now, <laughs> just, just between here and here, we're looking at um, about a 400 point decline. So that's what I mean. When we get these massive rallies, then we are we have set the stage for a um, a very uncomfortable and painful pullback um, as a possibility. So let's take a look right here. If we take a look at resistance, we are pushed right up against uh, price resistance here in the Dow. The next support level, of course, is down here. Now, let's take that one step further and let's take a look at some moving averages. And we can see the 50 day moving averages right here as well on the Dow. So, a pull back down here to test that 50 would not be out of the question. And that, of course, will be kind of a painful little pullback. Now, the best case scenario is if we just consolidate, if we just wander around in here and consolidate and build a base from where we can move up from. It's kind of similar to this, where we just build this base within this range, we wind around in here until we finally build the energy to move on through. So that would be the best case scenario. Um, the worst case scenario would be something to the effect that not only do we pull down to the 50, but we break back down through the 50, we fill this big gap below, and we come all the way back down into here. So don't rule out those possibilities um, after such a big rally in the market. Be careful not to just be focused totally on your bias. And I wrote about that this morning in the morning blog. If you guys have never taken a look at the morning blog, uh, please check the description of the video. The morning blog uh, link is always there in the description. Feel free to go take a look at that. Also, guys, if you would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. And all of the work that you guys have been doing, leaving comments and clicking those thumbs up buttons has really had an impact lately. Um, video views are starting to go up because the algorithms are showing
showing this to more folks. So thank you very much for your help in that. You guys are the best. I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, if you'd stick around, um, I will show you a trade or two that you might want to be considering uh, for your list uh, uh, for the near future. So let's go ahead and jump ahead. Let's take a look at the SPY here really quickly. And the SPY, we have the, a similar situation, but we haven't gotten quite so overdone here in the SPY. You can see the SPY is still well below its 50-day moving average and we broke above this resistance right here which is a good sign and we kind of held on to that yesterday but now we're showing um, this morning gap down and we're pulling back and may slip below that resistance level now please keep in mind we we rallied up here above the 200 and we left a pretty substantial gap behind if the sellers kind of start to take over don't be surprised to see a pullback that could come all the way back into here and um, fill that gap before we finally maybe catch some buyers and pick that back up and by the way if we clean that chart up a little bit here um, that pullback, if we were to get that little rounding pullback that comes down in here, I want you to notice what we have done in that situation is created an inverted head and shoulders pattern, a very bullish pattern for the overall market. So don't rule that out. Also, don't rule out the possibility of that pullback where we just wander around in here for a while building a base to be able to work from. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues rallying up, slamming into resistance right here and getting a little bit of a of a pullback here again above the 200 day moving average on a substantial rally don't be at all surprised to see a pullback to test that 200 or even a little bit further if the selling kind of picks up so watch that close um, 50 day moving average um, obviously diving right here um, any kind of a pullback in here we would also want to be watchful of that 50 of providing some resistance up there so watch that um, IWM IWM what a sad state of affairs here still for IWM even though we're getting this really sharp V bottom type rally we've run right into this resistance level right here and i can pull that chart back and you can see it's right across to all of this price resistance in here we've run right into that resistance level and i want you to notice what's happening here in iwm 50 day moving average very very close to crossing down through the 200 day moving average that's not a good sign for the market now that does give us a target up here to shoot for if we can continue to rally right up into here where we could possibly see that failure but with what we saw yesterday and the resulting gap down this morning I would not be at all surprised to see that pullback down into here and once again if that occurs we've created that inverted head and shoulders pattern where we might be able to catch a rally out of so what I'm basically displaying here is is that there's still a lot of technical damage in these charts that we have to overcome and we need to go in with them to the market with our eyes wide open to the possibilities I'm not trying to suggest bearishness I'm certainly not trying to suggest bullishness or anything um, in between I'm I'm only trying to point out what the chart is showing us and um, I always want to recognize what price action is is saying rather than insert my bias into the trade so let's let's pay attention to what the market is kind of showing us here that we are probably a little bit overextended maybe running into a a little bit of a stress point and a pullback um, would not be out of the question so think about that as you plan your um, risk going ahead into the weekend let's take a quick look at the VIX now the VIX did a really good job yesterday holding on to this support we actually saw the VIX pick up here a little bit at the end of the day you see getting a little tiny bounce right there now this is a significant level of support it runs back here for a long period of time so if we take a look at that support with uh, with a market gapping down this morning if sellers do follow through today 
on the on the day pushing the market lower we could see the vix um spike back up here a little bit but i don't think at least at this point i don't think it should get severe but we always want to pay attention to that volatility or that fear creeping into the market because you know panic can sometimes set in right when you don't expect it so watch um watch that vix for that t21 22 whoops T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. As you can see, we have really traveled a tremendous amount of, uh, of, of points here, rallying from extremely oversold to really a short term overbought condition. We're right up here in that bearish reversal zone. Now, can we go higher here? Yes, we absolutely can go higher here. There is room to go higher. Okay, but we're running out of that room to the upside. So kind of consider that when you're thinking about long trades or maybe holding long trades through the weekend. We may be reaching um, that point where a little rest or a pullback uh, is, is almost inevitable. So watch that close. And that also means that we have opened up a big door to potentially a downside move. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan your weekend ahead. Let's take a look at the economic calendar today. Our economic calendar, a little bit lighter day today than we uh, than we had yesterday. And as you can see, Doug, I don't know why that always seems to pick that up over there, but that's all right. Um, as you can see, we have... Um, uh, PPI this morning at 8.30, and that's a, a fairly significant number that can move the market around. We also have three Fed speakers today, consumer sentiment at 10, wholesale trade prices come in also at 10, and then the Baker Hughes rig count that we'll want to consider for today on the earnings calendar we have a significant drop we've gotten through the biggest wave of uh, this earnings season and now we only had about 120 companies reporting earnings today they're coming in pretty fast and furious furiously this morning so we still have to keep an eye to those earnings reports but they are starting to diminish and next week, you know, we're down to, um, we're diminishing down. I think our biggest day next week, um, maybe 190 companies reporting. So we're, we've gotten past the big four and 500 um, report days, and that will begin to diminish. So some of the volatility may um, drop out here a little bit just as a result. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if, if, if you're struggling as a trader, please, please make sure to dig in and study really hard. You know, take some time, back off a little bit, reevaluate your trading plan, reevaluate how you're approaching the market, and then come back with a, with a new set of eyes. Never give up on yourself. And if you need some help, if there's something we can do to help, please feel free to ask. We'd love to see if there's something we can do to help you improve your trading. With that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Hey, now just a caveat, the videos will change uh, on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I will be at the Vegas Money Show. So um, I don't know what kind of internet speed I'm going to be able to have at the hotel, if it'll be as good, en good enough to really do um, uh, much for videos. But I will keep those coming and um, certainly will also be posting um, a blog post. So kind of keep that in mind, but you'll be getting them live from Las Vegas. Everyone take care. Talk to you all Monday morning.